Which of the following are correct sentences, correct statements regarding model code of conduct during elections? When did model code of conduct come? You have to remember two things. Model code of conduct is Indian innovation. You don't find this uh, under any other election commission. This is the Indian innovation which is brought to prevent commercialization and criminalization of politics. So during by-elections, model code of conduct is applicable in the entire state in which the constituency falls. By-election, what is the distinction between by-election and general election? <coughs> by-elections are there where you are con conducting election to only a particular constituency. General elections, all the states, all the seats in the state. So by-election, when the by-election is conducted, model code of conduct does not extend to the throughout the state. It is localized. It is localized to the district under which the elections are held. So MCC applies to the district. So it does not apply to the state, right? Entire state. During general elections to the Vidhan Sabha, Vidhan Sabha that means state, model code of conduct is applicable throughout the country. It is only applies to the state, not to the country. And this is one of the reasons why Prime Minister Modi wants simultaneous election. Because once model code of conduct comes into force, you cannot <coughs> enforce any major policy decisions. Right? So he says, in to prevent this, so when it is a state election, it only applies to that particular state. Model code of conduct, not throughout the country. So what is the right choice? D. Neither one, not two. With reference to President of India, consider the following statements. Elected members of the state legislative assemblies and legislative councils are part of electoral college of President election. Only state legislative assembly participate, not legislative council. Second, the oath of office to the President is administered by the Chief Justice of India and in his absence, the senior most judge of High Court, not High Court, Supreme Court. Supreme Court, not High Court. Here it is High Court. President is entitled to such emoluments, allowances and privileges as may be determined by Council of Ministers. It is not Council of Ministers, it is Parliament. The President can be removed from office by a process of impeachment for violation of the Constitution as defined by the Constitution itself. Constitution never defined violation. <coughs> President can only impeached on violation of constitution, but violation of constitution remains very abstract. It remains undefined. Undefined. For example, according to the constitution, President acquires discretion to appoint Prime Minister. But he does not have discretion to appoint cabinet ministers or council of ministers. He, if he appoints council of ministers, it is violation of constitution. So it is not defined. So what is the right choice? D. None of the above. Who among the following are a part of the parliament? Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, President. President is integral to parliament. And parliament consists of both houses of power. Both houses, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha. Attorney General is not integral to Parliament, but he can participate in the proceedings. 1, 2, 3. Consider the following statements. For the abolition or creation of legislative councils in the state, a specific resolution to this effect has to be passed in the concerned state assembly with a special majority, not simple majority. So, first statement is wrong. The act of Parliament brought to this effect is not to be deemed as an amendment to the, con of the constitution for the purposes of article 368. So second statement is correct. It is not considered as an amendment to the constitution. So only two. Consider the following statements regarding Paramash scheme. It is a scheme launched by Ministry of Health and uh, Family Welfare. It is launched with an objective of mentoring institutions aspiring to achieve national accreditation and assessment council. See, <coughs> Paramash is something to improve the quality and it is nothing to do with it. Whenever there is education, remember two things. 
whenever it comes with respect to education, there are two things what you have to remember. Education is part of Ministry of Human Resources De Development. It is not part of, it is not part of <coughs> Ministry of Health and Family Welfare or any other ministry. Second aspect is it is launched with an objective of uh, mentoring institutions aspiring to achieve. National accreditation is to improve the quality. They started giving grades, 5 star status, 5 star status, 4 star status, 3 star status to these autonomous and uh, accredited universities across India. Right? So based on this, <coughs> Center for Excellence is also awarded to these institutions. So Parama scheme aims at that. So what is the right choice for this? It is two only, not the first one. It is part of MHRD. Second thing what you have to also remember is all these institutions of higher learning, they are all part of independent regulatories. Independent regulator, higher education is brought under independent regulators like UGC, All India Council for Technical Education, NAC. So the independent regulator, when you say independent regulatory, the power to uh, control these independent regulatory are is with the union government, not with the state laws. So they are governed by parliamentary laws. Consider the following with respect to E2020 e initiative, it is an initiative by World Resource. Institute to promote e-vehicles. E-vehicles and E-2020 has nothing to do with it. It is supported by World Health Organization. E-2020 scheme is launched to prevent malaria. It is part of World Health Organization. So what is the incorrect statement? First statement is incorrect. So the choice is for six. It is a, which of the following? Above statements is incorrect. One and two, neither one nor two. Why neither one nor two? The decision making body of the it is the global technical strategy for malaria eradication. Sitting ambitious for this World Health Assembly. Hmm? Oh, 6A, correct. I thought D. Consider the following statements regarding model code of conduct. MCC comes into force from the moment Election Commission of India issues official notification for conduct of the election. Election notification is released through press release, press conference, not notification. Right? MCC remains into force till the completion of the election. So what is the right choice for seven? First choice is wrong. Second choice is right. MCC remains in force till the completion of election and it is not <coughs> notification but press release. With reference to President of India, Vice President of India, consider the following statement. The oath of office to the Vice President is administered by the Chief Justice of India or person appointed in that behalf by him. The oath of office to the Vice President is administered by the Chief Justice. The oath is administered by the President. He draws his regular salary in capacity as the ex officio chairman of the Rajya Sabha. Constitution has no provision with respect to the salary of vice president. He draws salaries. Even cabinet ministers and prime minister, they saw the draw salaries as members of parliament. Right? So they draw salaries as ex officio chairman. So the second statement is right. Which schedule of the constitution of India deals with the allocation of seats in Rajya Sabha to states and union territories? Fourth schedule of the constitution clearly defines the number of seats that are allocated to each and every state right so it is part of the fourth schedule after each census a readjustment is to be made in which of the following total number of seats in the assembly of each state the division of each state into territorial constituency readjustment is primarily focused on territorial readjustment territorial constituencies where you try to maintain parity in population representation. Parity in population representation. No single constituency should have like Malkajgiri 25 to 30 lakhs and other smaller constituencies with 10 to 12 lakhs. So you, to maintain parity, you reduce the geographical area of Malkajgiri so that the population is brought in parity with other constituencies. So the adjoining constituencies are joined to 
some other constituency where the parity is less, right. So, this is the basic objective of readjustment of constituencies to maintain parity in population representation. It can also deal with the number of states, number of seats in the assembly. But there is a limit frozen up to 2026 and it can only be increased based on the 2031 census, clear. So, 192 are correct. The division of each zone into ter state territorial constituencies is an incorrect statement. Consider the following statements in the context of Utkarsh 2022. <coughs> it is launched by the Ministry of Finance to strengthen the re regulatory and supervisory mechanism of banking sector. It is launched by the Ministry <coughs> of the Finance to strengthen the regulatory and supervisory mechanism. It is a medium term strategic framework to achieve excellence in the performance of RBI's mandates and strengthening the trust of citizens and other institutions. <coughs> in this regard, it is not finance minister but RBI. RBI is also self-regulated, independent regulatory. So it is a once first statement is wrong, the second statement writes stands correct with respect to the medium term objective. Medium term objective, strategic framework to achieve excellence in the performance of RBI mandates. The term <coughs> Go AML recently seen in news refers to which of the following? Spyware attack on the core banking solutions of many central banks across the world. A new anti-money laundering platform was launched by UAE. Malware that attacked the core information infrastructure of India's critical infrastructure. An awareness campaign to bring awareness about antimicrobial resistance. Go AML deals with UAE. It is money, prevention of money laundering. Money laundering because which is facilitating terrorist activities which is facilitating terrorists to impose curbs on the <coughs> illegal money being transferred. So this is an objective with which it is it is created a new anti-money laundering. Money laundering means where money is sent beyond the state territories and brought back in terms of legalized money. Consider the following statements. During general elections for the constituenting the 17th Lok Sabha, Election Commission of India allowed non-resident Indians to cast their vote through online. There is nothing like online election voting. You have to go to the booth. First time since independence, NRIs were allowed to cast their vote without visiting the booths in person during the general election for constituting the 17th Lok Sabha. You have only exemption for <coughs> personal engaged in electoral maintenance of electoral uh, process peacefully. They can exercise proxy voting or they can exercise ballot voting, uh, the postal voting. They are only prevented from attending the booth. And this is some, something which was extended to the NRIs, NRIs in terms of proxy voting, but pro provided they are registered. They are registered first. So first statement is wrong, second statement is right. Consider the following statements. Article 74 states, there shall be a council of ministers with the prime minister at the head of head to aid and advise the president who shall in the exercise of these functions act in accordance with the with such advice. <coughs> so this is what 74 two states in accordance. Originally it was not there. Subsequently they included in accordance. Otherwise it was only aid and advice. Article 75 says the minister shall hold office during the pleasure of the president and the council of ministers shall be collectively responsible to both the houses of parliament. <coughs> they are only responsible to Lok Sabha. Article 78 says it shall be the duty of the president to communicate prime minister all decisions of the council of ministers relating it is the reversal. 78 says prime minister is the bridge between president and council of ministers. Prime minister is the bridge between president and council of ministers. Clear? So, <laughs> it is not the president to communicate to prime minister, prime minister to communicate to president. So, only first statement, incorrect statement, two and three are incorrect. <clears throat> Which of the following statements are true? The term of Rajya Sabha, membership of Rajya Sabha is fixed by the constitution as six years. <laughs> Indian constitution did not specify the term. It is left to the parliament to decide. It is left to the parliament to decide. 
Sikkim and Union Territories except Delhi and Pondicherry does not have enough population to have representation in the Rajya Sabha. Sikkim only sends one. Sikkim sends one. Whereas Uttar Pradesh sends 38. <coughs> so Sikkim sends. But not all Union Territories can send representation to Rajya Sabha. Other than Delhi and Pondicherry. So second statement is correct. Those members who are nominated by the governor to the legislative council are those who have a special knowledge or practical experience in which of the following areas? Literature, art, social science, <coughs> cooperative movements, all four are included. Consider the following statements. Atlas of the world's language in danger is a report released by UNESCO. India has the largest number of living indigenous languages in the world. We have multiple dialects and there are certain dialects which without with script. But India is not the largest. India is not the <coughs> largest indigenous languages uh, speaking, number of living indigenous languages. So first statement is correct, second statement is incorrect. 18th, consider the following statements regarding inter-creditor agreement, inter-creditor agreement, inter-creditor means all banks which, which lend they are entering into agreement. That means if you take loan from my bank, I share this information with others. So that if I remain, you remain defaulter, even other banks come to know about your status. Now you go and uh, to seek loan for any bike or any car, one, switch, one button it will give you the details of all the outstanding loans and your status whether you are prompt in making payment or you are a major defaulter. Right? So this they have brought in to prevent this NPS. The framework for inter-creditor agreement is laid down by Sunil Mehta committee and they implemented <coughs> through project Sashakt. The new framework further lays down some parameters to be included in the inter-creditor agreement including decision making by lenders holding 75%. The inter-creditor agreement is required to be executed by all lenders covered under the new framework and asset reconstruction companies. All three are two. <coughs> All three statements are true with respect to question 18. Because what, it, what does it mean? If you take loan, other banks should also know. In the absence of this, there was a possibility to manipulate. Possibility to manipulate and this is what has prevented and it is based on the recommendation of Sunil Mehta, Mehta who suggested for this inter-credit inter agreement. Consider the following statements. A balloting unit of an electronic voting machine contains provision for 16 candidates. M3 EVMs can cater to a maximum of 484 candidates. <coughs> M3 is what we are using in the modern context. M3 is what we are using in the modern context, but I don't think it can accommodate 484. First statement is right, it is 16. Second statement with respect to article 19, <coughs> question is M3 only 384 candidates is a maximum, not 464. Choose the correct statement regarding Council of Ministers. 91st Constitutional Amendment Act added the provision that the total number of ministers including the Prime Minister in the Council of Ministers shall not exceed 15% of the total strength of the Lok Sabha. That the total number of ministers including, excluding, not including, not excluding, including. So statement is wrong. The salaries and allowances of ministers shall be determined by the Parliament. The ministers shall be collectively responsible to the House of People. <laughs> what is the right choice? First statement is wrong. It includes the Prime Minister and the Council of Ministers. <coughs> Consider the following statements regarding representation of Union Territories in Parliament. Constitution provides for direct election for Lok Sabha <coughs> in Union Territories. Constitution nowhere provides. Union Territories are administered by, by President and Parliament determines. All union territories have representation in Rajya Sabha. Only few, Pondicherry and Delhi have representation, not all. So what is the right choice for 21? Neither one nor two. 
The idea of office of governor is borrowed from which model? Canadian model. Don't go with the key, even if you assume Canada and India are holding together federations. Canada and India are holding together federation. Both were under the British. British administered both and British continued to administer Canada as, as, uh, <coughs> as late as 1949. It was directly administered by the British Parliament. So we, we got this governor's role, rule of governor through British. They are holding together federation, both India and Canada. Whereas American Federation is coming together, where states came together to form into a federation. Here one large unit is broken into different parts for administrative convenience. So it is based on Canadian model. Even in the part of our <coughs> features or borrowed features of the constitution, when you deal with federation, we talk in terms of Canada. Mm. The yeah. Salary Members, salary as a member shall be decided, determined by the parliament. Member salary is determined. You are paid a member salary. Same salary, but according to the cabinet rank also, certain allowances are extended. Few allowances, you get an independent bungalow, otherwise you get an apartment. If you are a minister of state, you get a small apartment. If you are a cabinet rank minister, you get an independent bungalow. Allowances matter. Salary remains same. <coughs> Which of the following statements about special rhino protection force are true? The squad raised in collaboration between the central and state governments is an initiative of the government of Assam for, product, for protection of 100 rhinos. The course could be exclusively used for Kajiranga National Park. If there is anything like that, it cannot be exclusively used for one particular national park. And uh, with respect to this second question, say first question, the squad raised in collaboration between the central and state government is an initiative of the government of Assam for protection of one hard rise, uh, rhinos. It is a tiger protection force named after the rhinos. Is the force would be exclusively used for Ka Kajiranga, Oranga, and the Assam government would be paying the salaries of the uh, would be members by the National Tiger Reserve. The process of setting up the <coughs> the squad raised in collaboration between the central and state government is an initiative of National Tiger Conservative Authority, not Assam government. So both the statements are wrong. This is a current affairs question. Antigadwadi chadu exemption. Mood national parks matra me apply to the kade kade rhino sunayo lane jaga lagad. Consider the following statements about National Security Guard, NSG. It is a special force categorized under Central Armed Forces and a special force mandate. It is under administration control of Ministry of Defense, NSG, Ministry of Defense External, NSG is internal, Ministry of Home, Ministry of Home, NSG is part of Home Ministry, not Defense. Incorrect statement is two. It is part of the central armored police force. Voting in an Indian election can be done in which of the following ways? By voting in person, by post, through a proxy. All three are possible. One, two, three. Consider the following statements regarding the cabinet. It is mentioned in the original text of the constitution. Constitution never talked about cabinet. It only dealt with council of ministers. It deals with all major legislative and financial matters, all foreign policies and foreign affairs. It exercises control over higher apartments like constitutional authorities and senior secretariat members. What is the right choice? First statement is wrong. 
first statement is wrong. Choose the correct statement from this below. So second and third statement are correct. It deals with all major legislative and financial matters, all foreign policies and foreign affairs because it has political affairs committee, economic affairs committee, appointments committee, parliamentary affairs committee to assist <coughs> the cabinet. And second, it exercises control over appointments. All appointments committee is also part of the cabinet. So two and three are correct. First statement is incorrect. <coughs> Consider the following statements regarding the office of the Speaker of Lok Sabha. Only a Lok Sabha member can contest for the office of the Speaker of Lok Sabha. Of course, he has to be a member of Lok Sabha. The date of the election of the Speaker is fixed by the President. The Speaker resigns by writing to the President. The Speaker resigns by writing to the Deputy Speaker. <coughs> the Speaker resigns by writing to the Deputy Speaker. Third statement is wrong. So, first two statements are correct. Who among the following are not appointed by the Governor of a State? State Election Commissioner, Election Commissioners, Advocate General, Chairman of the State Public Service Commission. Election Commissioners are not appointed by President, uh, by Governor, by appointed by President. <laughs> Consider the following sta uh, statements about EQIP. It is a scheme launched by University Grants Commission. EQIP is meant to bridge the gap between policy and implementation in the higher education. It is of course brought to improve the quality of education in higher, uh, quality of higher education. <coughs> and it is, and it is uh, it is uh, launched by, it is not a scheme launched by University Grants Commission, but Ministry of Human Resource Development. But remember, Human Resource MHRD can only give directions because UGC is also independent regulatory body. It can only come with a direction and vision statement, it cannot enforce. But these days, it is also interfering with independent regulatory bodies where MHRD's influence is felt. MHRD's influence is felt. Consider the following state. Recently there was a controversy regarding geographical ind indication tag in GI registry. Consider the following statements. Odisha has received geographical indication tag in GI registry from Register of Geographical Indication for Odisha. Odisha's Rasgulla. Rasgulla is Controversy is there whether Rasgulla is Orissa or Bengal, right? But GI tag is attached to Orissa. <coughs> it is the first GI tag was awarded to the state of Orissa. It cannot be the first tag. As a WTO <coughs> World Trade Organization member country, India has enacted Geographical Indications of Goods Act, which came into force in 1999 30. This Thirty. So thirty. When did this Goods Act come? The Scam Act came into force in two thousand thirty-three. Okay, it is not in ninety-nine. It is enacted, but came into force in two thousand three. So statement three is wrong. So only first statement is right. Consider the following statements. It is mandatory for state election commission to conduct elections within six months of dissolution of Panchayat Raj institutions. It is a constitutional obligation to conduct elections within six months because no constituency shall re remain unrepresented. On dissolution of a Panchayat Raj institutions, the newly elected Panchayat Raj institutions remain in office for a remainder period of five years term. Which of the following statements given above are incorrect? Both are true. Both are true. So 31. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, integrated panchayat. Panchayat is an integrated system, not like municipalities. Ekadana dissolve in the intermediary mandal parsha. The elections conduct just a balance of the period work because it is integrated structure. So continuous ga unit ke ani level la upate sa simultaneous elections jarga. Village Panchayat Nunchi Jilla Panchayat Danka. Dissolution Aina, Dissolution Aina, Reconstitute Aina House only works for the balance of the period. <coughs> Clear? 
సో ఇప్పుడు ఇంకా రెండు సంవత్సరాలు ఉందంటే రెండు సంవత్సరాల కోసమే ఇప్పుడు మనం ఎమ్మెల్యేని ఎన్నుకుంటున్నాం బై ఎలక్షన్ ఇది బై ఎలక్షన్ లాక్ బై ఎలక్షన్ ఎమ్మెల్యేని ఎన్నుకుంటే ఎన్ని ఎంతవరకు ఉంటాడు హౌస్ లైఫ్ వరకే ఉంటాడు కదా హౌస్ లైఫ్ తర్వాత మళ్ళీ ఎలక్షన్స్ వస్తాయి కదా ఓన్లీ నార్మ్ ఈజ్ ఇఫ్ దిట్ ఈస్ లెస్ దెన్ వన్ ఇయర్ ఫర్ జనరల్ ఎలక్షన్స్ యూ కెనాట్ హ్యావ్ ఎలక్షన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ నార్మ్ రైట్ సో బోత్ నైదర్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ ఆర్ ఇన్కరెక్ట్ Consider the following statements. The ministers in India have only collective and individual responsibility. There is no principle of legal responsibility. They pretend only. <coughs> Monarch and Gunnar cannot go wrong. Long live the king. So individual ministers will take the responsibility for legal actions. Not in India. The ministers who is not a member of the, a member of the both of the parliament for any period of 6 consecutive months shall shall cease to be a minister he has to become a member within 6 months choose the correct statements both only two the second statement is correct not the first one because no legal responsibility the speaker of lok sabha is the chairperson of which of the following committees business advisory <coughs> rules committee public accounts committee speaker does not chair ethics committee speaker does not chair he chairs chairs business advisory rules committee and general purpose committee consider the following statements the constitution does not require that a person must prove his majority in the legislative assembly before he is appointed as the chief minister maharashtra cm did not prove his majority when yesterday he was appointed as cm so constitution does not mean that inko ko kapu tea kavali throat dry aitundi according to the constitution the chief minister may be a member of any of the two houses of a state legislature but by convention chief ministers have been selected from the lower house there is nothing like con no convention cm can be from either house he could be a mlc or mla so second statement is right wrong only first statement is correct <coughs> consider the following statements the tribes india is a manufacturing brand created by the ministry of tribal affairs for development of tribal products including tribal art and craft go tribal campaign was launched by the ministry of commerce and industry in association with <coughs> amazon global as an artifact export promotion initiative through when it is made it means with tribals it cannot be ministry of commerce first statement is correct so even with respect to 35 the second statement also should read that <coughs> it is the tribal minister <coughs> it is a tribal affairs minister in association with amazon global not ministry of commerce It's tribal ke separate tribal art and uh, architect uh, art and artifacts ke separate it is tribal ministry it's a constitutional obligation to have a tribal minister where the majority of them are tribals to take care of the development clear so first statement is right second statement is wrong as per the all india tiger estimation report 2018 arrange the states in the ascending order of their tiger population highest tiger population ekkada undi madhya pradesh followed by karnataka then uttarakhand and maharashtra so 4 2 3 1 ascending order ascending order means from low to up consider the following statements with respect to 73rd constitutional amendment act it provides for one third reservation of seats for persons <coughs> belonging to scheduled caste and scheduled caste it does not provide one third for scheduled caste scheduled caste one third for women it provides for reservation of seats for women in proportion of their population to the total population in proportion to the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes the reverse <coughs> which of the statements are correct both are incorrect <laughs> neither one not to choose the incorrect statements with reference to the cabinet committee the political affairs committee is chaired by the home minister it is chaired by the prime minister parliamentary affairs committee looks after the progress of government business in the parliament and it is chaired by the lok sabha speaker it is chaired by home minister the economic affairs committee chaired by the finance minister it directs and coordinates it is chaired by the prime minister <coughs> political affairs economic affairs appointments cabinet committee on security are all chaired by prime minister except parliamentary affairs which is chaired by 
Home Minister. <coughs> Choose the incorrect, all the above are incorrect. D. Political Affairs, Prime Minister. Economic Affairs, Prime Minister. Parliamentary Affairs, Home Minister, not Speaker. Consider the following statements regarding the office of the Deputy Speaker of Lok Sabha. Date of election of the Deputy Speaker is fixed by the Speaker. <coughs> The office of deputy speaker is subordinate to the speaker, it is not subordinate. The deputy speaker automatically becomes the chairperson of any parliamentary committees, wherever he is a member. Wherever deputy speaker is a member, he automatically becomes the chairman of the committee. So, second statement is wrong. <laughs> a chief minister is the chairman of which of the following bodies? Zonal councils, home union home minister, state planning board, CM. District Planning Board, not Chief Minister, uh, Chairman who is elected from among the members, District Planning Board and Interstate Council Prime Minister. So only State Planning Board is where the CM is the, chair, is the Chairman. Who among the following are members of quadrilateral group? When I read this question quadrilateral because I, when I come across this word in international relations, I thought Malabar quadrilateral or quadrilateral with respect to the <coughs> peace negotiations which are happening for reconstruction and rehabilitation in Afghanistan. But this question quadrilateral was something different <coughs> which is an outcome of the G7 group of seven and it included European Union, the United States, Japan and Canada. A quad group which was created to negotiate the North relations, that means industrially rich countries relations. So this is part of European Union, United States, Japan and Canada. <coughs> Constitution provides for the reservation of seats for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes in the Lok Sabha on the basis of population ratio. These reservation seats are fixed on the basis of <coughs> 1971 is the general basis for all. But with respect to SCSTs, post bifurcation or post creation of the National Commission, it is refixed in 2001. Post the formation of National Commission for SUSTs, it is refixed in 2001. Otherwise, for all general purposes, 1971 stands the base. Which of the following is incorrect statement? Person who has attained the age of 21 years can contest Panchayat elections, he can. The 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act provides reservation of seats, both members and chairpersons for backward classes in panchayats at any level, voluntary provision, not mandatory provision. State Finance Commission is constituted by the President, it is constituted by the Governor. President of <coughs> India may direct that the provisions of 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act be applied to the Uni Union Territory. President has the power to apply it to Union Territory, that C statement is wrong. Incorrect statement is C. It is <coughs> Governor who appoints. With respect to the functions of the Econo Estimates Committee, consider the following. It examines whether the money is well laid out within the <coughs> laid out within the limits of the policy implied in the estimates. It is right. It can question the policy laid down by the Parliament. Its recommendations are binding on the ministers. It is not binding, but usually they accept it. binding <coughs> Okay, binding on the parallel authority. So, 192. Consider the following statements regarding the office of the chairperson of Rajya Sabha. Can exercise casting vote. Can he? Vice President is not a member. Vice President and President are not members of parliament. Whereas Speaker and Deputy Speaker are members of Lok Sabha. Deputy Chairman Rajya Sabha is member of LAN. But here they have provided casting power, casting vote to Chairman Rajya Sabha. Casting vote to Chairman Rajya Sabha. Casting vote is exercised by Speaker as well as Chairman Rajya Sabha, though he is not a member. Can vote on the resolution for his removal. He can participate in the discussion because he is not a member. He cannot vote. 
<coughs> can preside over a joint session in the absence of both the speaker and deputy speaker, he shall not. In the absence of speaker, deputy speaker, deputy chairman, Rajya Sabha shall preside over the joint session, joint session of the parliament. <coughs> Only one is the right answer. This I was surprised, so I was uh, going through the constitution yesterday. When he is not a member, how can he exercise vote? Then Rajya Sabha rules uh, specify that he can exercise casting vote. Dangurinchi evil details. End of course, I am introduced Jason and the world. But casting vote on the niche. In the work of which it remains a parasit, the other birdly. The other birdly. Padda put man of the history of Sud. They put Nina, President Rule, revoke Jason, Maharashtra. Rathri. Cabinet then to impose Jason the cabinet resolution. Vara. Mark revoke the island, cabinet gucho allegal. Mark cabinet, other Rathri guchunda. Murgala Guchunda, my president at the revoke Jason do. Ante Indra Gandhi period law, rule twelve under the Tundanta. Emergency period law. Dani Ujeshi, Ujeshi and Apu. So are they provision? You can apply this. So Manaki Cheritra Purosundi, Jargindra Otos. So you put discussion name of Chatter, rule twelve. Indra Gandhi used during emergency. Under cabinet decision, they could not president revoke Jason. President only revoke jail at the president ka anakate power lay together. He has to act on the advice of the cabinet. But Adra the cabinet guchunda. Revoke in the Puddina Kanak Pramana speaker and repetition. Mukemantri. President Rulan Apuchkadat. Akada Artika Rule 12. Indra Gandhi U J Shinani or better. I rule 12 Prakaram. President has revoked. That's why so Charitra approached Sunday. Okay, event are going to put Charitra Sunday. Like what man has delivered? Any question man has asked? Forty, forty-six. If any question arises whether a matter falls within the governor's discretion or not, whose decision will be? The governor is an independent constitutional body. <coughs> Discretion of governor vests with the governor himself. Which of the following statements are true with respect to Nirbhaya funds? This fund is meant to support the state governments alone in their efforts to ensure the safety of women. It <coughs> under globalization, it is not state alone, it is non-state actors together. The Ministry of Women and Child Development along with several other concerned ministers will work out details of the structure, scope and application of this fund. Ministry of Women and Child Development will implement safe city projects which is funded under Nirbhaya fund scheme to provide security for children and to prevent child trafficking. It is not uh, under the uh, Ministry of Child and Welfare but it is assigned to the municipalities, identified eight municipalities. <laughs> So, what is the right choice? 47. C. 2 only. Because it is not state alone. Non-state actors also participate. For a person to be chosen as a member of parliament, he must subscribe to an oath of oath or affirmation before the person authorized by the election commission stating to devote himself to the service and well-being of the people. He oath ekkarled. Sovereignty and integrity only. He must be not less than 35 years. He must be not less than 30 years. He must be registered as an elector for a electoral for a parliamentary constituency in any state or union territory. He must be a member of scheduled caste or scheduled tribes in that particular state or union territory if he wants to contest a seat reserved for them. <coughs> what is the right choice here? 40. 8 D and the wrong first two are the wrong why D is wrong ah, in that particular state or union territory so the right choice is he must be registered as an elector 
ఫర్ ఎ పార్లమెంటరీ కాన్స్టిట్యున్సీ ఇన్ ఎనీ స్టేట్ అందుకొరకే నలభై మంది రైతులు ఇక్కడికి వెళ్ళి పోయి వారణాసికి పోయి మోడీకి అగెనిస్గా నామినేషన్ ఫైల్ చేయడానికి అండర్ సెవెంటీ ఫోర్త్ అమెండ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ది కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఏ లోకల్ బాడీ ఫర్ ఎ ట్రాన్సిషనల్ ఏరియా ఈజ్ నోన్ యాజ్ నగర్ పంచాయత్ కన్సిడర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ రిగార్డింగ్ ద పార్లమెంటరీ ఫారమ్స్ ద స్పీకర్ ఆఫ్ లోక్సభ ఈజ్ ద ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద పార్లమెంటరీ ఫారమ్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ స్పీకర్ ఈజ్ ద కో ప్రెసిడెంట్ each <coughs> forum consists of not more than 31 members out of whom not more than 21 are from the lok sabha and this 2 is to 1 ratio that is always maintained members of this forum are nominated by the speaker chairman from among the mem- leaders of various political parties groups or their nominees who have special knowledge keen interest in the subject what is the right choice 50 2 and 3 because <coughs> it is chaired by vice president the president of the parliamentary forum consider the following statements regarding the office of the leader of opposition in lok sabha it is a statutory office because they have provided recognition to the leader of opposition as cabinet rank so we need, need a parliamentary law till 2014 there was always been a leader of opposition in the lok sabha <coughs> since 1952 opposition e ledu so there was no leader of opposition since 1952 so what is the right choice only one it is created out of a parliamentary law statutory law the principle of collective responsibility is enshrined in which article of the constitution 164 consider the following statements regarding milk production minimum support price for milk is decided by the state government instead of the central government as it is a highly perishable good <clears throat> india is the largest producer of cow milk is india the largest producer can the state government fix the price of a perishable good ani pala dara ever decide yes sir pala dara state decide chesthe pal paadaipothe market minimum support price decide chesedi market ప్రైస్ పరంగానే పెరిషబుల్ అంటున్నాడు పాడైపోతుంది కూరగాయలు పాడైతాయి ఎవరైనా స్టేట్ డిసైడ్ చేస్తుంది ఎక్కడైనా మినిమం ప్రైస్ పెట్టమని పెరిషబుల్ గుడ్స్ అన్నిటికి అదే కదా నాన్ పెరిషబుల్ ఉంటే మినిమం ప్రైస్ ఫిక్స్ చేస్తుంది ఇప్పుడు రైస్ ఉంది జొన్నలు ఉన్నాయి దానిలోకి మినిమం ప్రైస్ వస్తుంది నాన్ పెరిషబుల్ స్టేట్ పెరిషబుల్ కేడికి వెళ్ళి వస్తుంది రైట్ సెకండ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ డైరీ ఎక్కడ ఇండియాలో ఉంది హైయెస్ట్ కౌ మిల్క్ యుఎస్ఏ సో నైదర్ వన్ నాట్ టూ విచ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ ఇస్ ఇన్కరెక్ట్ ద ప్రెసిడెంట్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేస్ వోత్ టు ద స్పీకర్ ప్రోటమ్ స్పీకర్ ప్రోటమ్ ప్రిసైడ్స్ ఓవర్ ద ఫస్ట్ సిట్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద న్యూలీ ఎలక్టెడ్ లోక్సభ speaker potem administers separate vote to the newly elected speaker <coughs> when the new speaker is admi- uh, is elected by the house the office of the potem speaker ceases to be third ledu or he is only administered vote as a member there is no specific vote as speaker even potem speaker is administered vote by the president as a member <laughs> hmm? there is nothing like a vote of speaker consider the following statements with respect to the gram sabha it is a body made of elected representatives there are no elections gram sabha all adult population qualify to be members it constituted for 5 years it is a permanent house has no nominated representatives choose the correct statement <coughs> choose the correct statement three only consider the following statements regarding the judge of the supreme court he can resign from his office by writing to the chief justice of india he shall resign by writing to the president whoever appoints you have to write resignation to him he holds office until he attains the age of 65 years any question regarding his age to be determined by such authority and in such manner provided by president <coughs> he should be a distinguished jurist in the opinion of the president what is the right choice here 
first statement is wrong second statement determined by president or parliament any <coughs> this any dispute with respect to 56 However, it makes the following three statements. He holds office during the and is age to be provided by parliament, not president. Any question regarding his age to be determined by such authority and in such manner as provided by parliament. In a age dispute is an unte. In a Karvay then Lebu, in Arvaya Rodu, Inka Arvay then any wrong date of birth issue Unadu. Dispute was the ever solved. A committee never ever appointed jail. impeachment, ever ne appointed just to committee. Judges impeachment ke parliament, not president. So the power is with the parliament. So you can president and each other. Dispute on tell dispute of sene hmm dispute ochi contest jeste ina ledu anna appudu parliament committee appoint chest clear so the first statement is wrong second statement is wrong third statement alone is right <coughs> which are the following <coughs> motion can be moved only in the lok sabha but not in the rajya sabha no confidence motion ekkada vastadi Censure motion, Lok Sabha. Motion of thanks, Ronditla Rauch. Adjournment motion, Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha. So, A the Lok Sabha ke, but not in Rajya Sabha Akunda. No confidence motion and censure motion. Consider the following statements in the context of qualifications for the membership of state legislature. A person to be elected to the Legislative Council must be an electoral elector for an assembly constituency in the concerned state and to be a qualified for the governor's nomination. He need not be a resident in the concerned state. Governor's nomination at the end is qualification MLCQ. Right? A person to be elected to the Legislative Assembly must be an elector for an assembly constituency in the concerned state. He has to be an elector from any assembly constituency from that concerned state. Statement 2 is correct. Consider the following statements regarding Kadia and Village Industries Commission. <coughs> it is an apex organization under the Ministry of Commerce and Ministry, Commerce and Industry. With regard to Kadia and Village Industries uh, within India, is it? Scheme of fund for upgradation and regeneration of traditional industries is a scheme under Kadi Village Industries Commission. It is an executive body set up under the resolution of the government. The law is correct 59. Huh? It is an apex organization under the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise with regard to Kadi and Industrial Village Industries, not under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. So, first statement is wrong. Scheme of fund. Scheme of fund for upgradation and regeneration of is a scheme under KVC, KVIC. This is part of Kadi Village Industries Commission. And third statement, <coughs> Kadi and Village Industries is a statutory body formed by the Government of India under the Act of Parliament. It is not an executive order. It is not an executive order, but a statutory body. So, it is an act of parliament, not executive order. So, only statement 2. Zero over is an Indian innovation in the field of parliamentary procedures during this time. Ministers give oral answers to <coughs> none of the above. Rest, rest all belong to question hour. Zero hour is the break between question hour and actual proceedings. With respect to the removal of the judges of the Supreme Court, consider the following. The institutional role of parliament in the removal of judges starts only after the charge of misconduct is proved. Institutional role of is proved. That means a three member committee has to prove. There is a proven misbehavior. The MPs have no role in the proceedings before the high 
judicial committee yes they cannot because the independent uh, the three member committee independently will investigate mp have no role so what is the right choice both one and two <coughs> which of the following union <coughs> ministries deals with the subject of urban local government ministry of urban development ministry of uh, finance ministry of home affairs ministry of defense Ministry of Home Affairs comes with respect to Union Territories. Ministry of Defense comes with Cantonment Board. Ministry of Urban Development with respect to Municipalities. Only Ministry of Finance is not part of it. So, 134. Consider the following High Courts. High Courts of Madras, High Court of Bombay, High Court of Telangana, High Court of Kerala. Which among the following High Courts have Admiralty Jurisdiction? Admiralty means Marine. Jurisdiction over the coastal vessels and Telangana High Court does not have any coastal border. <laughs> Telangana High Court has no coastal border, so it does not have any admiralty function. All the other three have. With reference to the pardoning power of governor, choose the correct statement. <coughs> A governor can pardon, reprieve, respite, remit, suspend or commute the punishment or sentence of any person convicted in any offence against the state law. <laughs> If a state law prescribes for death sentence, he can pardon a death sentence. <coughs> can he pardon a death sentence? Only the president has this power. He cannot grant pardon, reprieve, respite, suspend, remission or commutation in respect of punishment <coughs> or sentence by a court martial. He does not have power with both. So what is the right choice? <coughs> I think Second is wrong, third is wrong. So, governor can pardon, reprieve, respite, rep <coughs> remit, suspend or commute the punishment or sentence of any person convicted under state law. 64A. Consider the following statements. High court has supervisory jurisdiction only on such subordinate courts that are subjected to its appellate jurisdiction. It has <coughs> role over all courts, all subordinate courts, not just appellate. High Court deals with matters of posting, promotion and grant of leave for district judges. Posting, if it posting means recruitment, then it does not come under <coughs> High Court. It is done through Governor, through Public Service Commission. So statement 1 is right. A bill is deemed to be a money bill if it contains only provisions dealing with which of the following matters. The imposition of any tax is part of money bill. The appropriation of money bill. Appropriation bill is part of money bill. <coughs> uh, <coughs> the payment of fees for license is not money bill. The regulation of borrowing of money by the union government is part of money bill. The imposition of fines or other pecuniary gains is not part of money bill. 1, 2, 4 is part of money bill. Any fines collected is will go into public accounts of India, not consolidated fund of India. So it is not part of money bill. Yeah. One ten definition of yep to the other din pay na voting unda do money bill din pay na. Ante charge the expenditure pay na voting unda dhan yep to the charge the expense grants pay na voting unda. Hmm? Finance bill pen voting on time. <coughs> 67. In which of the following circumstances a governor cannot issue an ordinance? The ordinance has the provision which which <coughs> which of embodied in a bill which requires presidential sanction, he cannot. Reorganization noted and cardinals delayed I know. Presidential sanction. If an act of the state legislature has the same provision that would be invalid without the assent of the president. In both cases, he cannot issue. Where president's role is there, governor cannot issue ordinance. Hmm. 68. In what scenario can the president, parliament make laws on a state text when state makes request to implement international agreements during national emergency in case of armed rebellion? In all three cases, states can make the parliament can make laws on states. Which of the following are not necessarily the consequence of the proclamation of president's rule in a state? Dissolution of the state legislative assembly. <coughs> president's rule. 
removal of the council of ministers interim government is there even under president's rule to aid and advise the governor dissolution of the local bodies dissolution of the local bodies does not happen when president's rule is imposed panchayats municipalities they remain right so <coughs> choose the correct sequence <coughs> dissolution of legislative assembly need not be <coughs> president rule maharashtra la in jailega suspended animation house is not dissolved house is not dissolved so not compulsory that house should be dissolved but removal of the council of ministers in the state that is also not possible president rule interim government he asked fadnavis to continue as interim government third dissolution of the lok sabha local body dissolution of the local bodies does not occur by the imposition of president rule so dissolution of state legislative assembly the option led anka then tick jet pedam మన ముందు మహారాష్ట్ర కనిపిస్తుంది గవర్నర్ కి ఆయన అంతకైనా సొంతంగా పనిచేయదు అనుకనే అపధర్మ ముఖ్యమంత్రి సలహా సూచన లేకుండా పనిచేయలేడు కనుక అపధర్మ ముఖ్యమంత్రి ఉండాల్సింది కన్సిడర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ రిగార్డింగ్ ద బ్లూ ఫ్లేమ్ రెవల్యూషన్ ఇట్ రెఫర్స్ టు ఇండియాస్ అంబిషన్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లోర్ ఆఫ్ షోర్ on shore oil in indian ocean it refers to india's program to provide clean fuel clean fuel a blue flame ujwala edi lpg gas cylinders ki dan kinda pradhan mantri tisukoni vachindi blue flame ante clean fuel kosam right it is a program of moe pcc to ensure clean beaches and protection of marine it is an initiative of department of fisheries and animal husbandry ademo blue economy so it is blue flame is to do with clean fuel lpg cooking gas ujwala scheme identify correct statements for the following a state law of extra territorial operation is valid in case of nexus between the object and the state <coughs> the orders of a civil court in india are capable of execution anywhere within india civil court order vijayamalaya me deshindi mottham india mottham vastu so what is the right choice both 1 and 2 71 hmm. civil matter siddhan jurisdiction varak jurisdiction varak consider the following statement the president of india can extend the provisions of 74th amendment act to the union territory he can the governor of a state is empowered to extend 74th amendment to the scheduled areas and tribal areas municipalities ni ledu mane pesa act e undi panchayat extension to scheduled areas municipalities le second statement is wrong incorrect statement is two <coughs> president can extend municipalities to union territories but governor cannot extend man there undi pesa act okate 96 which of the following states are under president's rule for maximum time in terms of the absolute number of days ekkada undi punjab because of kalistan movement <coughs> next is jammu kashmir consider the following statements regarding members of state legislative council 5/6 of the total members of number of members of the legislative councils are indirectly elected one third are <coughs> elected by the members of the legislative assembly one twelfth are elected by the teachers constituency and one sixth are nominated by the governor of the state all four are correct consider the following statements a law made by the parliament on a subject in the state list during the president's rule is coterminous with the duration of the president's rule it is not once a law is made it it remains valid it remains in force until it is repealed so it is not restricted by president's rule the state government can delegate its executive power to the center through a to a resolution of the state legislative assembly executive power ki legislative assembly ki sambandham e ledhu <coughs> so both neither one nor two are correct state government can delegate its executive power to the center through a resolution it can ex- delegate its executive power to the center through the office of governor <laughs> hmm? 
చట్టం వేరే ఇక్కడ ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ పవర్ అంటున్నాడు అంటే క్యాబినెట్ డిసిషన్స్ ని డిసిషన్స్ వరకే క్యాబినెట్ పవర్ ని సెంటర్ కి ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ చేయొచ్చు త్రూ ది ఆఫీస్ ఆఫ్ గవర్నర్ నాట్ త్రూ లెజిస్లేటర్ లెజిస్లేచర్ కి ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ సంబంధమే లేదు ఎక్సెప్ట్ ఫర్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ క్లియర్ కన్సిడర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ రిగార్డింగ్ ద మనీ బిల్ స్పీకర్ ఆఫ్ లోక్ సభ సర్టిఫైడ్స్ బిల్ ఆస్ మనీ బిల్ ఆర్ నాట్ అండ్ దిస్ డిసిషన్ ఇస్ ఫైనల్ స్పీకర్ ఆఫ్ లోక్ సభ సర్టిఫైస్ a bill as a money bill as not and its decision is final money bill can be introduced only in the lok sabha with the prior permission of the president president has to give his assent to the money bill as it is introduced with the prior permission president has the power either to give assent or to reject with power is there so 192 are correct in which of the following cases referred to the president to the president to the supreme court under article 143 has the supreme court refused to give its advice because under 143 whenever president seeks advice from supreme court supreme court is bound to give back reply to president by constituting a five judge bench but it refused to give in one ram janma bhoomi where president asked whether a temple existed be- below the structure supreme court said i cannot give judgment on this i cannot express my opinion <coughs> otherwise it is bound to constitute a five judge bench and give reply to the president under 143 but with respect to ram janmabhoomi temple when the president wanted to know whether the supreme court is in the opinion that the temple existed supreme court said i cannot give my opinion on this etla judgment is sir so nen ivvale nan cheppi monna ichindi kuda vishwasam meenne ఔటర్ కోర్ట్ యార్డ్ లో మీకు కంట్రోల్ ఉంది ఇన్నర్ కోర్ట్ యార్డ్ కానీ ఇన్నర్ కోర్ట్ యార్డ్ సైడ్ చూసి పూజ చేస్తున్నారు కనుక మీకు కంట్రోల్ ఉంది కనుక ఇది కూడా మీకే అని ఇచ్చింది అంటే ఇది విశ్వాసమే కదా స్ట్రక్చర్ ఉంది కానీ అది ఏం స్ట్రక్చర్ అని చెప్పలేకపోయింది అది టెంపులా మా మసీదా ఏదని చెప్పలేకపోయింది అది నేను డిటర్మైన్ చేయలేనని చెప్పి కోర్ట్ ఏమన్నా అంటే నేను విశ్వాసం చోటు పోను లీగల్ డిస్ప్యూట్ ఇది టైటిల్ ప్రాపర్టీ డిస్ప్యూట్ కనుక హోల్డ్ చేస్తా అంటుంది సో మన చట్టాలు ఏం చెప్తున్నాయి అంటే ఎవరి పొజిషన్లు ఉంటే వానికే భూమి ఉంటుంది ఇప్పుడు నువ్వే పక్కన ఉంది ఆక్యుపై చేసుకొని ఇల్లు కట్టినావు అనుకో నీకే ఎక్కువ రైట్స్ వస్తాయి ఎందుకంటే నువ్వు ఇల్లు కట్టుకొని ఉంటున్నావు సార్ పక్కనోడు వచ్చి లేదు ఇది నాది అని వాడు ప్రూవ్ చేసినా కూడా నువ్వు ఖాళీ చేసే పని లేదు వానికి కాంపెన్సేషన్ ఇస్తే సరిపోతుంది అదే కోర్టు చేసింది 2.7 పాయింట్ సెవెన్ బాధ ఫైవ్ ఎకర్స్ ల్యాండ్ ఇచ్చి క్లియర్ విచ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఈజ్ ట్రూ ఆర్టికల్ త్రీ వన్ టూ డీల్స్ విత్ క్రియేటింగ్ న్యూ ఆల్ ఇండియా సర్వీసెస్ సెంటర్ కెన్ గివ్ డైరెక్షన్స్ టు స్టేట్స్ ఫర్ ప్రొవిజన్ ఆఫ్ అడిక్వేట్ ఫెసిలిటీస్ ఫర్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఇన్ మదర్ టంగ్ ఎట్ ప్రైమరీ స్టేజ్ ఎ లా ఆన్ కాంక్రెంట్ సబ్జెక్ట్ హ్యాస్ టు బి ఇంప్లిమెంటెడ్ బై ద స్టేట్ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎనాక్టెడ్ బై పార్లమెంట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద స్టేట్ what is the correct choice in the 78 kit all three andre bhai government em cheptu telugu cheppod antledu telugu subject untadi veel antaru missionary ne dachanike chestina prayatnam antar conversion kosam ani మిషనరీస్ ఉంటే తెలుగు మీడియం పెట్టొద్దని ఉందా ఎవరికైనా చేసుకోవచ్చు వీళ్ళ అభియోగాలు అవి అభియోగాలు ఉన్నంత మాత్రాన అవే వాస్తవాలు జరి రికగ్నైజ్ కావు అభియోగాలు అభియోగాలుగానే ఉండిపోతాయి రైట్ సో ఆయన ఏమంటున్నాడు ప్రపంచీకరణ దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకొని ఇంగ్లీష్కి మారండి ఈరోజు ఈ మధ్యలో చాలామంది ఇబ్బంది కూడా పడుతున్నారు ఎందుకంటే ఇంగ్లీష్ మీడియంలో ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ప్రాపర్గా లేకపోతే ఏమవుతుందంటే పోటీ ప్రపంచంలో పోటీ తత్వానికి దూరం అయిపోతున్నారు కనుక ఫస్ట్ కెళ్ళే బేస్ చేద్దామని ఆలోచిస్తున్నారు సో రెండు ఉన్నాయి పాజిటివ్స్ ఉన్నాయి నెగిటివ్స్ ఉన్నాయి బట్ యూ కెనాట్ ఇగ్నోర్ మదర్ టంగ్ క్లియర్ అండ్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ప్రివెంటింగ్ అట్లా ఉంటే అదే కంపల్సరీ అయితే ప్రైవేట్ స్కూల్స్ కానీ ఎక్కడ కానీ ఇంగ్లీష్ మీడియం ఉండనే ఉండొద్దు 
that's Following some of the <coughs> following some are important cases that came before the Indian judiciary bank nationalization cases, Krishna Kumar Singh versus State of Bihar, Vaman Rao case. In which of the following above did the case judiciary pronounce on the status and the issue of promulgation of ordinance by the executive? In the Krishna Kumar Singh versus State of Bihar, because ordinance was promulgated and re-promulgated in Bihar for 13 years. <coughs> Then court, the Supreme Court provided a judgment stating that if you re-promulgate ordinance, it is fraud on constitution. Emergency, one time, six months, you can acceptable, acceptable not more than once. Clear? So two only. Consider the following statements. The crime and criminal tra uh, tracking networks and systems abbreviated to is a project under Indian government for creating a comprehensive and integrated system for effective policing through e-governance, investigating tra <coughs> investigation tracking system for se sexual offenses, leverages, the existing CCTNS database to strengthen state's ability for analytical and prognosis for timely investigation and prosecution in rape cases. <coughs> the project is implemented by the national informatics centers. The project is not implemented by the national informatics centers. The first and two statements are correct. 80. Mm. The national information is a background framework. Then came is to the national informatics and care. Make a background structure, a framework is to the implementation of what is the background work. Background and the project is implemented by National Crime Records Bureau, not by National Informatics Center. Framework work is some 81. If the President of India exercises his power as provided under Article 356 of the Constitution in respect of a particular state, <coughs> then the Assembly of the state is automatically dissolved. Assembly is not dissolved. The powers of the legislature of the state shall be exercisable by or under the authority of the Parliament. True. Article 19 is suspended in the state. It is not true. The President can make laws relating to that state. <coughs> So, which is a wrong, which is a, which is an incorrect statement, the question is complete. Question incomplete only. Until there is a C, article 19 cannot be suspended. Neetha, mood correct. Eighty-two. Which among the following statements are correct? It is not correct. Supreme Court can issue writs that relate only that relate with only the fundamental rights of citizens. High courts can issue rights on issue uh, writs on issues that relate to the fundamental rights of citizens as well as for other legal reasons. The jurisdiction with regards to the writs in is wider for the high courts as compared to the <coughs> Supreme Court. The writ jurisdiction of the Supreme Court can be extended by the Parliament but never decreased. All four are correct. With reference to lapsing of bills <laughs> on, the, on the dissolution of the assembly, a bill pending in the council but not passed by the assembly does not lapse. Pending but not passed, yes. A bill passed by the assembly but pending in the council lapses, yes. A bill passed by the assembly are passed by both houses but pending <coughs> assent of the governor or the president does not lapse, yes. A bill passed by the assembly or passed by both houses but returned by the president for reconsideration of house uh, does not lapse, all four. <coughs> With reference to the members of the Union Council of Ministers, consider the following statement. Cabinet ministers subscribe to the same oath affirmation as the Minister of State. <coughs> Cabinet minister salary is same as that of the Minister of State. Both are correct. On behalf of the President of India, the Contingency Fund of India is held by Cabinet Secretary, 
principal secretary, finance secretary, finance minister, it is finance secretary. Consider the following statements about the union executive. Its power extends to the matters with respect to which the parliament has the power to make laws. Yes, every executive action must have a legislative sanction. No, only one. Executive order need not be backed by parliament's approval. Consider the following statements. Britain is a federation because the country is divided into provinces. Britain is a unitary state. A country can remain a federation despite the states delegating some powers to the local self-governments. Panchayat system is there. Still we are a federation. So two is right. Consider the following. Members of the newly elected Lok Sabha, <coughs> Chief Justice of India, Speaker of the Lok Sabha, among the above, who are administered the oath of office by President? Members of the newly elected Lok Sabha, Chief Justice of India, President, Speaker of the Lok Sabha. <coughs> president, an appointee of the President or representative of the President? Appointee of the President, yes, pro tem speaker, members of the newly elected Lok Sabha. Chief Justice of India, Speaker of the Lok Sabha is not administered any oath. Right? So, he is only administered. So, one and two. Consider the following statements about intergovernmental science policy platform on biodiversity and economic ecosystem services. It was established in 1998, 1988 by the <coughs> United Nations Environment Program. IPBC helps in studying impact of biodiversity and economic ecosystem services on human well-being. <coughs> 89. So it was established in 1988 by the United Nations Environmental Program and was later endorsed by the United Nations General Assembly during its summit, that is 1992, Rio Earth Summit. So only first statement one is right. Which of the following are not necessarily the consequence of the proclamation of President rule in a state? <coughs> Dissolution of the state assembly is not a necessary thing. Removal of the Council of Ministers in the state. Dissolution of the local bodies. Dissolution of the local bodies is not necessary. Hmm? Uh, which of the following are not necessarily the consequence? Consequence and the kada. President rule imposed jeste dhan dunchik jargandi edi. Right? Dissolution of the state of the state legislative assembly. Suspended invasion load betuch. Dissolve jeste panel edi. Maharashtra la adhe jargi. Local bodies dissolve. <coughs> but removal of Council of Ministers Jargal. <coughs> Continue, I think. Apadharma Prabhutva Maitha Untaj. Interim government will be there. So choose the correct answers using the code below, which are not necessary and not necessary and put dissolution of local bodies under the dissolution of state assembly under. Right? 193. Choose the correct statement regarding the High Court. Seventh Constitutional Amendment <coughs> authorizes the Parliament to establish common High Courts for two or more states or for two or more states and a union territory. The Constitution does not specify the strength of the High Court and leaves it to the Parliament to decide. <coughs> Hearing disputes relating to the election of members of Parliament and state legislatures comes under the original jurisdiction of High Court. Ain't that the answer? 91. Choose the correct code. Seventh Constitutional Amendment Act 1946 1956 authorized the Parliament to establish a common high court for two or more states. And the Constitution does not specify the strength of a high court and leaves it to the Parliament to decide. It is, leaves it to the President to decide. Hearing disputes relating to the election of members of parliament and state legislature comes under the original jurisdiction of High Court. <coughs> so 193. Consider the following statements. The chairman and the deputy chairman of the Rajya Sabha are not the members of that house. Deputy chairman is the member of the house. While the nominated members of the two houses of parliament have no right in the presidential election, they have the right to vote in the election of the vice president. So statement 2 is correct. Which of the following spe <coughs> special powers have been given to the Rajya Sabha but not to the Lok Sabha due to its federal character? Authorize parliament to make a law on the state subject. 249. Creation of all India services 312. 
amend the delimitation commission report it does not have the power to amend the delimitation commission report 93 no the delimitation commission is a commission established by the government of india under the provisions of the delimitation act the main task of the commission is redrawing the boundaries of the various assemblies and lok sabha constituencies based on recent the representation of each state is not changed during the exercise however the number of sc st seats in a state are changed in accordance with the census <clears throat> the present delimitation of constituencies has been done on the basis of 2001 census under the provisions <clears throat> the commission has a powerful and independent independent body whose orders cannot be challenged by any court of law the orders are laid before by the lok sabha and the respect to state legislation so our modifications are not permitted అర్హత అంటే నీకు స్టేట్ లెజిస్లేటివ్ అసెంబ్లీలో పెడుతున్నారు కదా పార్లమెంట్లో పెడుతున్నారు అసెంబ్లీ కానీ రాజ్యసభలో పెట్టారు ఎందుకు టెరిటోరియల్ కాన్స్టిట్యున్సీ ఎవరివి ఎవరివి అవి టెరిటోరియల్ కాన్స్టిట్యున్సీ లోక్సభ అసెంబ్లీ సీట్స్ నాట్ కౌన్సిల్ అండ్ రాజ్యసభ సీట్స్ నాట్ కౌన్సిల్ అండ్ రాజ్యసభ సీట్స్ consider the following statements in the context of indian federalism the states are merely agents of central government they are not agents of central government the states draw their authority from the constitution seventh schedule second statement is correct who among the following release food and nutrition security analysis india 2019 report niti aayog united nations food <coughs> world food Pro program undp nsso as part of its natural uh, of its agricultural <coughs> so, so who among the following release food and nutrition security analysis india 2019 report it is united nations world food program <coughs> when president proclaims emergency under article 352 the president needs parliamentary approval for the revocation of proclamation of emergency he does not need parliament's approval president can pro <coughs> revoke any time but once he proclaims emergency it needs parliament's approval but revoking is not the legislative power of the state legislature is suspended during the national emergency no only during state legislature state emergency so neither one nor two <coughs> 96 97 with reference to panchayat raj institutions choose a incorrect statement the three tier system of panchayat raj should be replaced by the two tier system is recommended by the ashok mehta committee a post of district development commissioner should be created he should act as a chief executive officer of the jilla parishad it is recommended by gvk rao choose the correct answer using the quotes below what is the right answer both are right he wanted two tier structure ashok mehta gvk rao has suggested to appoint a ias as a chief executive officer instead of district collector ceo jilla panchayat jilla parishad ceo he is an ias officer both the statements are correct choose the correct following <coughs> so here the question is which is the incorrect statement so d neither one not two who among the following enjoys the parliamentary privilege the president of india the attorney general of india the union minister who is not a member of parliament who has the parliamentary privilege <laughs> president is not integral to parliament he is above parliament so attorney general because he can participate in the parliamentary proceedings he can have this privilege and union ministers are also members so they acquire the privilege as automatically 2 and 3 ప్రివిలేజ్ బయట వన్కి ఏముంటుంది యూ కెన్ యూ ఇప్పుడు గ్యాలరీలు ఉన్న వాళ్ళని రాకుండా అది కూడా చేయొచ్చు ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఎ ప్రివిలేజ్ దట్ యూ షుడ్ యూ షుడ్ అలో పీపుల్ టు కమ్ అండ్ సిట్ ఇన్ ద గ్యాలరీ బట్ యూ కెనాట్ ప్రివెంట్ మెంబర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎంట్రీ అంటిల్ అండర్ స్పీకర్ సస్పెండ్స్ దట్ ద ప్రివిలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ద మెంబర్స్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఈస్ అబౌ ఆయన చెప్పిందే కదా వీళ్ళు చేస్తుంది 
The Indian model of federalism is closest to which among the following models, Canada? Indian federalism is close to Canadian model. Which of the following statements with respect to the USSR, USA, Canada, USA and MO coming together, USSR, a federation of a different character and Indian federation is based on Canada. Holding together, a large unit is broken into parts. Which of the following statements with respect to periodic labor force survey are true? Periodic labor force survey is a regular employment, unemployment survey, <coughs> survey launched by Labor Bureau. According to the latest edition of the, uh, the uh, PLFS, unemployment rate in <coughs> both rural and urban India is at its highest since 1972. It has only identified urban, not rural. So, PLF is a regular employment. So, only first statement is correct. 